coming up on Oily Trash Movies. Ah! Get ghosted. I went to go get a glass of water. because All right, and we're live. Hello, and welcome to Oily Trash Movies. This is the only podcast... We're two people watching a review bad movies while saying unfunny things the entire time. We are your hosts. I'm Daddy Warbucks. Well, you know who I am, and I'm Bubblegum Barbie. And we've got a great episode this week. We're going to be watching Ghost Project. Super excited to get into this. But before we do, last week we watched Ike Boys. Do we have anything to add about that? So um, I met someone who was from... What was this? Ohio? Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I think they were from oh, Ohio. I, I, guess, I guess you did not meet somebody who, who was from where this movie was filmed. I was like, yeah, it's, it's from your state. I recommend it. It's so good. And she's like, what? I never hear people do movies there. And I was like, yeah, well, you should... Icky Boys was made there. Well, now she's going to watch the movie and think about and think what an idiot you are. So, on point, on brand. On brand. I don't have anything to add. I did just want to say, I didn't quite get it out. I think you can really tell that the movie was made by people who are big fans of Japanese culture, and it really shines through. So if you are someone who is also a weeb as they go by, uh, I, I hope that's not a slur. I hope I don't get no, canceled for that. Not. But it's only it's not okay. Okay. Is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you're a weeb and you're into stuff like that, I think you would like Ike Boys, and I wholly recommend it for that reason alone. And then this week, we are watching our fourth movie by Uncorked Entertainment. This is called Ghost Project. What do we know about this? Well, what the hell, War? Like, do I have anything to add to this movie? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you're th I thought all you had to add was that you met somebody from a completely unrelated state. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also going off of what you were saying i really want to emphasize the fact the japanese character was a reverse of a weeb she was so into <laughs> the native american culture and i think that was fantastic and just brilliant that's it all right fantastic <laughs> all right so goes so moving on to ghost project what do we know about this movie so ghost project is a 2023 film it is a fantasy horror sci-fi we love sci-fi. One hour, 17 minutes. The director is Federico Flinkenstein. And the writer right, yeah. is Santiago Fernandez Calavante. So, um, and it's about three young programmers come across an abandoned technology meant to detect supernatural presence. They reverse engineer the tech and create an app for their phones, which allows them to see ghosts, thus endangering their own lives. Ooh. Oh my goodness, so spooky. So, so spooky. spooky. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about this. This is, I think technically, uh, I better not say that. Have we have we done any ghost movies yet? There was mm -hmm. Cabin in the Woods or Cabin Girl. Yes, and then David Milko's ghost movie. Oh, <laughs> ghosters. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is our second ghost movie. <laughs> and technically, it's our third ghost movie, because then we have Mermaid Down, who had a ghost rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, I, man, I still think about Mermaid Down and just how bizarre it was. And it's like, oh, yeah, let's have a ghost in the movie. Like, oh, yeah, I, I kind of kind of smart. Yes. Why not? War and I also reference Mermaid Down on our daily conversations all the time, like, Hilarious. All right, are we ready to get into this? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Boom, Uncorked Entertainment. So for those who have been following OTM, Uncorked Entertainment also distributed Jurassic Games, our Jurassic favorite movie, Game and Hunt Life. Club, our least favorite movie, and Space Wars Quest for the Deep Star, the first movie we've ever seen Sarah French in. Oh my god, a creepy doll. I have a doll like that in my fridge. <laughs> this may be an international film, but with English in it. I, I think it just has a really diverse cast. Oh my god, did you see oh. those sideburns? <laughs> ghost detector. Dude, this is ghost busting equipment. Dude, this is a period piece. This is the 70s. You could already tell with their costumes. Or they could be hipsters. 
I don't. I don't think so. I think, I think they're just nerds. I think this is a seven news piece. Period, and it makes sense with the equipment. Yeah, this does look like seventies ghost tracking equipment. I wonder, is this even the movie, or is this? Are they watching a movie? <gasps> oh my god! What if this is in the past? And then this is like this yeah, is the haunted. Be... Like they're gonna do it like three for three for Yeah, four. I. I think that's. I think that's what happens. And then we're gonna go back to future day. Oh my god! Moving barrels. Because this movie can't take place in the 70s, because if you remember from the description you just read, it's about programmers who create an app for their phone. Oh, that's what I read? That's what, that's, those are the words that came out of your mouth. Wow. Oh my god, he's like Velma in Scooby-Doo. When he loses <laughs> his glasses, he's like, I can't see, and there's like a freaking ghost. I love this movie already. Scooby-Doo reference hell. Yeah. Cut that. <laughs> no, you nailed it. Right, uh, yeah, if, if I nailed it, leave it in. Yeah, we were right. So that was in the past, and this is a modern world. Oh, look, VR status. He's talking to his AI girlfriend right now. Oh, this is a pretty cool VR headset. Uh, I'm, I'm getting LX2048 vibes. Uh, uh, threat techno mm -hmm. music. Copy strike. Why let them do what they do? <laughs> this cast is freaking gorgeous. Like, they're all good-looking people. They're all foreigners! Yeah, this is so interesting. It was filmed in the United States, but the entire cast are foreigners. This is the actress that should have been cast for the uh, slime rama movie, too. I don't, I don't have a joke. I don't have a joke for that one. <laughs> I'm loving this so far. This is this is pretty awesome. Yeah, me too. Guys, I think I found some ghost detecting technology. I just stumbled upon it. Oh my god, she's dead. So is he going to use the technology to contact her for real? Oh my god. So it's like his actual ex-girlfriend who died in a tragic accident. <laughs> By the way, guys, remember to like and subscribe. You've been doing a great job at subscribing, and we want to thank all of you. Yeah, we're, like, becoming so famous. Our tower is, like, at two, almost 200. Like, Tower of Babel to the Heavens is almost there. Our, our tower, it's now tall enough that we would be seriously injured if we fell off of it. I know, it's so crazy. Our tower is so tall that if we were to have a house party, it would be freaking lit. It would be a banger. It would be like the EK boys house party. <laughs> oh my god, it's a ghost. <laughs> the uh, the Velma guy still wandering around down there blind. <laughs> I can't see shit without my fucking glasses. Oh, yeah, that was International Institute of Study, so that's why they're all foreign. Oh. What an attention to detail. Oh, the dramatic oh unveiling. God. Let's go. What if, like, one of the guys survived, and then they, like, talk to him, and he's just, like, old? Or what if he finds those guys a ghost, and they're like, listen, you made a big mistake. <laughs> it has an on-on switch. <laughs> There's only two options, on and on. <laughs> on and moron. I guess once you turn it on, it's like you're... You're screwed, man. Oh my god, the ghosts are mad. Oh no, <laughs> the computers are haunted. So much for battery life. Hell yeah. He's drinking beer from a paper straw. I was gonna say that. I was like, why would you do that? I guess the actor's a straight guy. He's like, oh, what would be so gay? He's like, ooh, me drinking whiskey <laughs> out of a paper straw. Yeah, it's super gay. Oh man, expedition dump here. I was like, guys, I was just haunted. The computers were freaking <laughs> shaking. Oh my god, it only said two scientists and there was three. So the, mm. the Valma guy is still roaming around. I bet he's blind somewhere. No, he's down there roaming around getting trying to find his glasses. No, do you think we're going to have the asylum scene where he goes and visits the blind former I, I tech 
I, I, I can't even say it. The former IIT technician oh in a mental my institution. God. Yeah. Then he's going to be, rather than him sitting in a wheelchair like we did with the uh, cabin girl, he's going to be on the wall with the screwdriver just screwing a freaking uh, Wi Fi freaking nail stuff like uh, slash Lorette dudes. Nailed it. <laughs> Could be I tried so hard to I make like sense of that Why? sentence. <laughs> like, how can I describe the slash Lorette Wi Fi guy? <laughs> with the I, don't, I don't think it's relevant, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's, instead of trying to say that sentence better, just say a different Why sentence. Oh no, our first modern victim. Ah! <laughs> Is this is he in here doing work in the abandoned building? Because he's not doing a good job. This place sucks. He was cleaning the wall. <laughs> like it's just one guy with a putty knife. I think that cliff there is CGI. Oh my god, this is like Twilight. This is a blue filter of Twilight, dude. They're using the Twilight filter. Oh, he's bringing it to where his dead girlfriend was killed. Yeah, yeah, this cliff, this fake cliff with zero guardrail. This episode is dedicated to all of the ghosts that watch our show. I'm having a hard time pinning her her accent down. We'll figure it out. This is like the reoccurring joke in Super Deep, where we keep trying to figure out this accent. <laughs> this guy does have really beautiful blue eyes. His eyes are stunningly blue, but you can tell that he can't grow a beard worth shit. You can also tell that he hasn't taken a shower in like. <laughs> in weeks. Dude, are we gonna have a Ouija board scene? Oh my god. <gasps> Dude, are we gonna have a tarot reading scene? Oh, like those are both on the table, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, is this it? Oh, it's just a random cereal box on the ground. That's not what I was expecting. Oh my god, look at that dope-ass jacket he's wearing. It's got lions and dragons and maybe dinosaurs. This dude's got swag. Or is it swagger? Is the, what's the, how would you say that? This dude's got swagger? He's got drip, is what you would say. These fucking Zoomers, I can't keep up with this <laughs> stupid fucking Zoomer language. There's a new one that I hate and it's called Giot. She's got a Giot. Like, instead of saying dump truck, you would be like, damn, Giot. Is that what gat means? Yeah! I just thought you just said gat gat. Oh, okay, you got gat. All right, that, that that makes sense now. You're saying that you've got a dump truck. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that on, on a babe. <laughs> See how it goes. He's got a dope-ass name. This guy's a rock star. Well, he goes by Sysop, which is like system operator, short for system operator. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of what like Chinese people in tech do, because a lot of times they have names that white people can't pronounce. So they'll just like pick a name that's very easy. But, you know, in the tech industry, he, he picked a name that like sounds like a cool hacker name. Oh, oh. Dude, I love that prop. That is so awesome. Yeah, this is what Friendship Game needed was to use their, utilize their prop more. Pretzel's the safe word. That's an SNM safe word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. When she's not acting, she's go go dancing. <laughs> okay, now, now we're going to get sued by this uh, Laura Castle. <laughs> for slandering her and calling her a, a go-go dancer. No, she's gonna be like, yeah, I do. You wanna see my stuff? Hell yeah. Like, I don't care about her feelings. I only care about Sarah French's feelings. <laughs> yeah, and you want to destroy them. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh my God. Oh, the temperature's dropping. Oh my God. Classic ghost. Why is this ghost so aggressive, like, at this I point? Know, like, isn't this, like, this woman's mother? I would imagine, like, since you're so... This ghost is so obsessed with Humpty Dumpty, like, you would just want to read to the children if you're a mother, or if you're a child, be read the Humpty Dumpty book. Like, it just makes no sense. Is it the machine that makes him ultra aggressive? Because, like, every single time that machine is turned on and on, they get so angry. Yeah, well, t to them, it's like you're you're peeking in when they're, uh, like, in the bathroom or taking a shower or something, you know? Oh, he's so depressed because his house is so filthy. Oh, there's a noose. He needs a woman to clean that shit up. Aww. 
Sisop! Oh no! His eyes are gone! Bubba, this guy, this actor is just like you, getting credited as the dead corpse. Oh, they got the spooky fog coming out the side. Oh my god, this is the old man that survived. He's gonna be blind. Yeah. It is! Journalist. It's Velma! Velma's looking good. I like how this guy worked for the CIA and is spilling all their secrets. <laughs> they already have ghost detecting apps for your phone. Yeah, but they don't have, like, legit ones. This is a legit one. <laughs> Wrong! The one I downloaded from the app store is legit. This is how they summon the ghost every single time is by putting the book back into the shelf. Yeah, it's really convenient that one of the three char main characters lives in a house that's haunted. I mean, it makes sense. She's a foreign exchange student, so yeah, you would want to put all your foreign exchange students in the haunted houses. And then keep the non-haunted houses to the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds racist, Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> we we have to put all the foreigners into section ghost housing. <laughs> yeah, and that's I mean, how else are they going to achieve the American dream? It's like I want the American dream of me having a non-haunted home. <laughs> are you sure it'll even work? It's my tick. Of course it's going to work. Just in case, move carefully. <laughs> Remember I like how they use a word she could barely pronounce. She's like me. <laughs> oh, that's all words that you can barely pronounce. <laughs> Wrong! I pronounce, I freaking nailed the writer's name and the director's name. That's exactly how you say their names. They're gonna watch our oily trash podcast and they're, they're gonna be stunned by I was the only person in the whole world to say their name correctly. How'd you pronounce his name again? I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I always felt her presence here. That's probably why I rented the room. Ah, see, I told you. She's like, yeah, that's why I rented the room. <laughs> at, like to the foreign exchange students. She, she's right behind you. Uh, oh, I'm so scared. It's gonna be like right there. She'll be like, ah, I was changing to my night nightgown, you <laughs> jerk. And throws him across the room. And jump scare. Oh my god. Let me read you this book, honey. Uh -huh. All I want to do. In this book, there is a hidden map where I've hidden my war bucks that I have accumulated by watching, watching oily trash <laughs> movies. She's like, she's never seen the book. She's like, I've never seen this book. I thought it was gone forever. I thought I lost it in the ocean. I thought I lost it in the sun. <laughs> oh, the ghost moved on. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. Way to go. Yay! No information given, none whatsoever. <laughs> Time to get wasted, ghost toast. Oh my god! He has a one night stand and then immediately forgets all about his dead girlfriend. Wow. That's all he needed to get healed. She cured him. <laughs> just imagine Operation Available on Play Store. Oh, I thought he was going to say, just imagine Operation Ghostbusters. This is the pre. Okay, so Ghosters Phantom happened first. They, all the New York ghosts went free. And then these guys, because of all the pandemic of ghosts being free and roaming around, everybody's petrified of all the ghost huntings, where to a point that foreigners are forced to be living in haunted Section 8, or what would you say? <laughs> Section ghost housing. Yeah, they, they're, they're forced to be in Section ghost hunting. And then, so these guys were like, look, we have a ghost problem. So they make the Ghost Invention app, and now they're becoming the Ghostbusters. And then, after that, these guys start the company, become FBI and CIA, and then boom, Ghostbusters. I hope you leave that entire thing in uncut. That was great. <laughs> ah, a CPU, a, a PSU power supply. This is my favorite. Oh my god, a haunted power drill. 
Oh my god, what if there's like she fights with the ghost girlfriend? Oh my god, a sexy kickboxing scene because she stole her boyfriend? Yes. This is where the janitor died. Why is she living yeah, in this place? I, I thought she was living in that haunted house. She is. She she ran here for some reason. I I, I think they're checking. I, I don't know, honestly. I think they're checking maybe the range of their device right now to see if they can see ghosts because because he's there's they're supercharging their shit like a Wi-Fi network. You're telling you're telling that long ass story during Sysop's ex, uh, exposition dump. It was unclear why she had a jog here, though, and arrive all sweaty. <laughs> what? I was saying unfunny things. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were saying unfunny things during all of the explanation. You were trying to connect this to the Milko Davis Ghosters cinematic universe. I nailed it. That's exactly the timeline. <laughs> ah! Get ghosted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. Oh shit. Oh, she's getting oh. drilled. Oh my god. Jesus. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Well, good thing it stopped after it stabbed her once. Yeah. You know, I can't tell if I if the writing is bad or No, no, I I think the writing is bad, but I think that the actors I, I think it works with these actors. So like that's, uh, I'm gonna drop this down for my next movie to hire a foreign actor so my shitty writing doesn't show. I, I think, I think they're so good that their, their performance covers for what I think is actually kind of a shitty script. Right. My friends are in danger? How about I just got fucking stabbed with a drill? I am bleeding here. Help me. <laughs> she get first aid with her bleeding wound? Her flesh wound, like... There's blood all over her hands still. She told him, like, there was a whole dialogue. My friends are in danger. It's like, okay, let's go to the Santana. All right, let's not stop the bleeding. She probably ate a banana or she <laughs> left so that she could get that energy from the lost blood. <laughs> survival. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe for more survival tips. <laughs> <laughs> we need, like, a really clickbaity title now, like, How to Survive Ghost Project. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. How to survive a ghost project. I find out with these five tips. Okay, tip number one. Don't make a ghost app. <laughs> tip number two. Yeah. Do not live in a haunted house. Tip number three. Don't get attacked by ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Tip number four. If you do get attacked by a ghost, make sure you eat a banana. Tip five. Yell pretzel. Uh, oh my god, is he gonna see his girlfriend? Oh my god, she's gonna climb the tower. Oh my god, she's gonna like, climb our Tower of Babel. Guys, we're being haunted by the fact that we're not yet at 200 subs. Guys, it's literally drowning us and killing us. I am being drilled by a ghost right now. <laughs> Bubble is being drilled by a ghost. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of trash. It's literally like the ghost filter on Snapchat. <laughs> oh no, Jinkies! This is the second time that's happened to him. So, why are these ghosts so overly aggressive? Is it the machine that's making them mad? I think ghosts are just dicks, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unplugging that thing made it even stronger. Oh, oh my god. These ghosts are in a cult. They just want to make everybody ghost. That's how ghosts reproduce, is by killing people. It makes more ghosts. Like, all of these ghosts are like 1940s factory workers, so you know they're all super racist. <laughs> yeah. Velma, your glasses are right here. Oh my god, imagine banging a ghost. I like how he closed the the door so that the ghost can't get in. Oh, yeah. Aww. No. The second oh, this dead is his girlfriend. second girlfriend that died. <laughs> He's gonna have a bunch of pictures of her now. And she didn't even achieve anything. She made it worse somehow. Oh, shit. The ghost opened the door. Uh... 
This, this kind of sucked, honestly. But I had fun the whole way through. Oh, no, it's Psyop. <gasps> he's going to find love with one of the Ghost Factory guys. Oh, my God. He's uploading it to the App Store. Oh, shit. Now everybody's going to get haunted. Now those, look, those are the, the hooks from the opening scene. They were reincorporated. Perfect. The Ghost Revolution has happened. How convenient that she does live in the haunted house. That was Ghost Project. Hey, you know, that was okay. It was fun enough. Uh, so what I really liked about this movie, all of the sets looked great. The props, phenomenal. I loved every prop from the VR glasses to the the ghost detecting machine to like the weird like 1970s Ghostbuster stuff. All of that felt great. I was kind of disappointed. I think I preferred Milkles' movie over this one just because there was so much. It was more action-packed and it was more, I don't know. Yes, I couldn't hear what was going on, but I, I preferred that one over <laughs> this one. I'll tell you what. where this movie fails is that it's a ghost movie, but the ghosts themselves sucked. You know, the one thing that I did like about this movie is how the characters, they were they built the characters pretty well. Even like the, the ones that died in the seventies were built pretty well, but the ghost felt like there was no character to them. They were just a ghost shell. The production failed in like, okay, I want to make a horror sci-fi film. My main focus is going to be my ghost. I want to like really focus on the ghost. Like I, I was really confused about the aggression, the over aggression of ghosts. But then I, it was forgivable for me because you said, I think ghosts are just ass, which I believe, <laughs> you know, you're just trying, you know, I see it constantly where people are trying to just drive home and then a ghost just gets in the way and they crash in the tree all the time. Yeah. Ghosts are fucking. <laughs> and then they're constantly rocking their, the freaking, uh, uh, wooden chair, whatever. All the, the old, old rocking lady. horses. Yes, the rocking and... horses all the time. And then they're always in playgrounds just swinging the freaking, the children. I think the worst ghost <laughs> are the children. <laughs> but, see, I think that was the problem with this movie is that the ghost was like, eh. You know, it was just like a, a prop. They were, it was treated like a prop, which didn't make it scary for me. I did appreciate overall the props like you said everything that you said i even liked the sound the scoring of this film was really well done the costumes was really well done i think the fact that everyone were foreigners was was interesting including the fact that it was the institute of what International. It was, the interne it was the International Institute of Technology, which is really brilliant. Well, it's like again, you you can't tell if the script sucks or if they're speaking broken English. Right, and then the sets, like oh my god, like this whole scene, but it's just hilarious. Like the 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 trash man <laughs> or the janitor is cleaning the walls, like he's scrubbing, just it. scraping that wall up and down. And that's obviously, like, I feel like that's not where you're going to start in this shithole abandoned factory. Right. And I think it's not just going to be new you. Like, that's kind of f <laughs> if you get hired and you're only, like, paying pennies a day and it's just you and you are, they're like, yeah, I want you to restore this entire ass f <laughs> building for me. It's like, okay. You know, yeah, no, no way. Get out of here. Yeah, this poor janitor. This janitor was the most abused character. I really was disappointed in this movie. I'm just going to call it right now. Here's how I think you fix it. I would lean more heavily in the ghost vision. Don't have the stupid app where they're holding their phone up and they see ghosts on it. Have everybody have a pair of these headsets. And then when you have the scary scenes, they're looking around and you see the ghost jumping out. And you can do that uh, practically where you're just filming uh, actual people in ghost makeup. And then you add the digital effects to make it look like, oh, it's actually the VR view. And you have like the like the HUD elements up in the corners. And uh, I think you'd be able to do way more with it that way. And I agree. At least in terms of giving the audience an actual scare. Because the, the final sequence with the ghost on the phones, I'm like, this is essentially boring. Also go into, like, found footage type of film. Yeah. 
So I, I kind of like that idea. I think that would have definitely oomphed it for sure. Oh, one thing that really bugs me about this film is the girlfriend situation. What was the whole point of us knowing that story? Like, why, why, why is yeah. it? Why, why was it important if we're not gonna have no payoff of him seeing her? You know, like it would have been it felt unresolved. Yeah, it very, very unresolved. I, I think it was vaguely resolved in the sense that he couldn't find her ghost because she had moved on because she didn't have unresolved business. But you either reveal that at the end as some sort of completion to the arc, or you say, wow, that's a really stupid idea. And you have the touching scene where he sees her because she was obviously killed very young and is exactly the kind of person who would have unresolved issues. This movie is just a cold, a, a blue balls type of film <laughs> Nothing gets solved, and everybody gets haunted. This is all this movie. I don't know. Maybe we were talking a lot in this <laughs> yeah, movie, we which were. is never a good sign that we're not paying attention to the plot. Uh, so maybe it was established somehow that they were doing something that would put everybody at risk. Right. But I, I, I don't know. And then I always hate movies where everybody dies at the end. I think I've mentioned this before. We, we, nobody accomplished anything. And now everybody's going to ghost her everywhere, I guess. Yeah. Would you recommend I, this movie? You know, I would. Yeah. If, if you are browsing through Tubi or Netflix and you see this movie, I think this is way better than like 90% of the trash that's out there on streaming services, to be perfectly honest. It, again, you said it. You said the key point. It was a bad movie, but you had fun. This is a bad movie, there, yeah. but I had fun. The fact that we talked for how many minutes about all this this <laughs> stuff is 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 also a good thing because then you just walk away like, what 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 did I just watch? What was the whole plot? Those why did those things matter? Why were they even there? Like one of the biggest questions that I have in my brain right now is like, why did she climb up to the tower of Babel to remove wires just to make the thing worse, just to make the ghost more mad, just for there to be a ghost resident evil zombie, just them coming and like ripping you apart in shreds and throwing you across walls. Like what was the whole point of that? And it's frustrating. And if you want to feel as frustrated as I am right now for watching this movie, yeah, go watch this. <laughs> <laughs> to, to add to that, I think that there's enough redeeming qualities of this movie, even though I didn't like, even though the script felt like it was, uh, it, it felt like it needed a few more revisions, you know? There's still enough solid filmmaking in here. I would recommend it. And I think I would give it um, possibly two... Two to three war bucks. Oh, wow. I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think this was oily. Okay. I mean, I think this was oily, in my opinion. The crew, the props department, the costumes, the makeup, the locations, the cinematographer, the sound guy, the props, the actors were also really good. I think the problem was the script. I think... That's the issue that I had with the more I digest this film. Because of that, I'm going to give it a flat zero. I'm not, it's not okay. oily. It's not good. I'm going to give it a flat zero. And I think that's a fair scoring. I, I love ghosts, you know, like <laughs> ghost movies. Terrifying. Every morning, Bubba wakes up and she looks for ghosts. Yes. I have ghosts haunting me all the time. That's a true story. <laughs> and the fact that I wasn't terrified. Yeah, I'm very disappointed. Flat zero for me, for sure. I think that's fair. All right, do you have anything else to add? This is a movie. This is a movie. So just screw all my opinions. Just throw it away. If you want to watch this movie, watch it. All right, take care, come here. And remember to mace directly in that ex-girlfriend who never showed up space. Bye! Bye! <laughs> That was so bad.